And as a council member for Allen County, we're always looking at ways to reduce property tax. And I think this is a, a good way to augment that property tax. Ken Freeze, an Allen County councilman, says he supports the casino. His support is because Free says casinos pay large amounts of gaming taxes. They will be paying Allen County money and, and New Haven money, and maybe we can backfill some of the property taxes with that. A big criticism of the casino coming to New Haven is the possibility of more crime in the area. Freeze is a former sheriff of Allen County and weighed in on the concern. Uh, Fort Wayne was looking at putting the casino in years ago, and people were talking about all the crime that is, is associated with casinos. So I took it upon myself to contact the sheriffs and the counties that had casinos in the state of Indiana and asked them, what have you seen? What kind of crimes have you seen an increase in? Their answer, a small uptick in domestic violence. Free says that was due to someone spending money they shouldn't have. Otherwise, it was it was great for their counties. They had more money, they had new squad cars, they had better streets, they had new buildings. They, they said it was boom for their counties and it was uh, it was a positive, not a negative. Alex Stoljar, the chief development officer for Full House Resorts, the company behind the casino, says research shows jobs will be created. They uh, concluded that this would create about 2,400 jobs in the area uh, in phase one. About 1,200 of those jobs would be working for us directly. Another 1,200 would be indirect and induced through the economy, working for our vendors, suppliers, and, and just in the general region. Freeze says he supports the casino, but understands others don't. People are going to be against it for a variety of reasons, and I have have no issue with that.